Charlie. Take care, Mom. The cashier. Very, very nice. Take care. Outdoor cafe. Nothing. Son of my queer. Security man. Make sure you wear a mask. So here, on the list of you. As you can see. This way goes down towards uh, the shrine and the uh, diversion road. Happy Days Cafe. Good view. It says good food, good view. It's a great view. It's a really nice view. Slowly, they're uh, growing their business, shall we say? It's open three months, but people come here at night. It is really busy at night because the view of Dalal City from here is stunning. The lights, watching the aeroplanes come into the airport, so it's better here than it is at Vista View, and it's better here than it is at Jack Ridge. Jack Ridge is good, really, really too expensive. So Jack Ridge is over this way, on the other side of this uh, mountain range. This, yeah, it's nice. Take care, I'm going to Daktao. Join me. And I'm on Dakadao, Dakadao, Dakadao. So, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. It's on the right, on the left, right hand side here, they're delivering all the steels. And on the left hand side is the sluice. And here they're going to start digging this sluice out. They removed the crash barriers to stop you going into the sluice and this is what it looked like before they started doing the work on it. There we go, so Belen Belen restaurant in there. So there we go, the sluice, the crash barriers, the trees. I think the trees would stop you a lot better. And I'm about on Dak Dow. There we go, there's Dak Dow. So, here you can see <coughs> they've raised the they've raised the uh, sluice on the other side of the road. Yeah. So they're doing the work. They're raising it on that side. They've not started to work on this side. So the new construction, the new build, 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 is what they're doing here. So they're putting in, there's going to be a bridge going in here, 
because you need to get from this side of the road to that side of the road and they knocked down the bridge because the bridge wasn't that stable uh, and that's why they're building all they're putting all this rebar in and they're going to concrete that in and there's two sluices so over on this side they're building it look how high they're actually coming above the road so they're about a meter meter and a half above the road uh, and they'll backfill this in people on trucks people in trucks people so this side of the road on this top part now I came down here a couple of months ago and this was all being held together with concrete structures it was all being held together uh, all these trees were being pulled back but what I've done now is I've actually backfilled all this in so all of this is being backfilled in they've raised it so the water will run all the way down towards Agdal Sluice um, and this will all go this will go all the way up to JP L'Oreal um, and it will come down because when the mountain when the mountains get rid of their water when it rains this place gets flooded and when it floods you end up with stagnant water or standing water and when you end up with standing water you end up with mosquitoes you end up with mosquitoes you end up with dengue and you end up with malaria and you end up with all that other crazy crazy shite that goes on in life um, but the other thing that they've actually done here is they started to tarmac they've not actually finished on the left hand side but on the right hand side they're actually tarmacking already so the A1 uh, school of motoring there's a post here in the middle of the road so yeah they've started tarmacking they don't put a, they don't put a big thick screed of it it's about three inches on this concrete so I'm on the I'm on the pavement uh, detour I don't know where the detour is going yeah road work ahead well I think we can see that but here the concrete the tarmac is around uh, three inches this is one of those groins that are actually holding the trees in so the trees don't push over onto the sluice um, nice little pile of rubble there Mr Barney rubble in the middle of the road so yeah so still continuing to do, make the improvements here and the improvements are massive uh, I remember when I first came down here this road used to turn around and flood and it used to backfill and all sorts of stuff goes on uh, go on. Uh, there we go so they're putting the rebar in here we're, we're coming to the bottom end of Dakdal so they're putting the rebar in and that's a new bridge there two sluices to let the water through uh, and then these drainage gullies actually come from the surrounding areas so when this fills up the water goes back into there but there's a backfill plate to stop the water going back into the barangay or back into the areas uh, so as you can see it's, uh, it's a quiet day really you know, it's a quiet day it's lovely there's a there's a tarmac voice there's a guy sitting up there waiting they're going to turn around and start later they're still doing oh look at that there we go so that's what happens when there we go so when you don't support a tree yeah and it falls over it drags all of the all of the uh, side dike road in so so this tree here was being held back and it's broken off and it's fallen in there but it's also taken the other tree that was here and dragged those big concrete groins into the into the um, sluice and into the dike you can see what it used to look like they used to put these little concrete posts in water used to get between them but now they're backfilling that out on the old and then just dropping it in they'll fill all of that with concrete and make sure that the river runs that way it's about 400 meters down there till you get to Agdal Road uh, but the road is looking down this end of it is looking really really good yeah they just need to put the white lines in it but it's nice and smooth apart from this hole that's here on the left hand side 
looks like the road's collapsing now but yeah well, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to come back around by the uh, by the emission centre but this is as I said this is the bottom of Dakadal Agdal flyer is in front of us uh, Agdal market is to the right these guys we are direction our castell do I have to go here back no I go home oh. you sure this way, this way. okay okay salam aqua so Emission center is here on the right hand side. Uh, as you can see, Dakdal. This car is really having some problems. Yeah. So it, this is the bottom end of Dakadal. So I'm coming from Agdal end and I'm going up towards JP Laurel. So the workforce is on the left hand side, they're turning around and pulling out the trees. They've started tarmac now. This is what I don't understand. They've not actually finished finished the uh, the road and the sluice and they're already starting to put down the tarmac. Yeah. It would have been easier just to turn around. Thank you. It would have been easier to turn around and just leave the road like this. Yeah? In with concrete. So they're the tarmac boys over there on the left hand side, I'm coming up the right hand side now. So they've filled it, they've got rubble in here, they're backfilling it. Uh, a, you can see where it's actually starting to fall away from the uh, side of the embankment, the dike. And that's why they're building it this high. So people are not putting all of their rubbish and all of their uh, little sorry sorry stores but uh, it, it is it's an amazing amazing project but it's deserted that's what I like about travelling you've got a nice consistent line along this wall and the other side is the dike and the sluice that's going this way the trees on this side they've taken a lot out yeah, on the other side they've kept the trees I think that's mainly because I think they've died this side there we go so uh, trees on this end haven't died but that's, they're looking nice they're looking healthy um, but I need to put a little uh, a little edging in to sit around and stop people trying to squeeze through but these are the these are the boys, the, the Bodget and Scarpa Brigade. Oxycetylene oxy tanks just left there on the side of the road. You'd have thought they'd have actually locked all that away because somebody could quite easily come along and take the oxycetylene containers, put them in the back of a white truck like that and disappear with them. So, yeah, nice height. Oh, look at that. Battery Express, 4775. Don't know where it's going, but it's going somewhere but not with me on it. Yeah. So this is my this is my road trip up Dakdal today. Uh, as I said I'm coming back up to JP L'Oreal. And this is what the old road used to look like and then the water used to fill up and flood over onto the road and it, would ne it wouldn't drain away it was just a, a real nightmare coming through here because you would be you know at least a foot in water uh, which meant unless you 
you had a uh, a really really pumped vehicle you weren't actually going to get through it were you you know it needs to be jacked up but they're doing major major changes in Dava and for the good yeah definitely uh, progress is really really good so going right goes down towards uh, city proper 